a bonus for Leo because we're coming in for the Leos. Happy birthday, Leo Cancer, Leo Cuspers, um, and also Leos. Okay, we are going to see what the said the spirit for you guys. Let's see what Spirit Source Energy have for you for the next five months. Okay, all the way to December. Let's see what's going to unfold for you. What the future holds for you five months from now, Leo. What does Spirit Source Energy want you to know? This is timeless. This is for your rising sun, moon, Venus, cuspers, and cross watchers of Leo. Thank you, Spirit Source Energy. So you could be a Cancer Leo Cusper, or you can be a Leo Vir no, yeah, Leo Virgo Cusper. Okay. Wait a minute. Did I say that right? Yeah, I did. Leo Virgo Cusper or Cancer uh, Leo Cusper. And cross watchers, they know what to do. Flip the script. All right, Spirit Source Energy. What does Leo's need to know for the next five months? Spirit source energy. Ooh, balance. Balance, overall energy. Look, flexibility. Ooh, balance. Grounding yourself, right? Doing more things geared toward uh, uh, stability and grounding and keeping the balance between the feminine and the masculine energy within yourself as well on the outside of yourself. Hey, sis! So that's what we're looking for the next five months. Okay, now. What do I want to do with y'all? What cards do I want to do with y'all? Let's do these. Okay. Uh, let me move these out the way because these are the big cards. We need the big... I should have brought that charger. I think I got enough battery. Spirit Source Energy, this is for the Leos and you. Greetings! How are you doing today? How are ya? Thank you, Spirit Source Energy. We gonna look in on these Leos, baby. The Sun card in the Tarot deck. The, the Strength card in the Tarot deck. Talking about soul and talking about courage and inner strength, Spirit Source Energy. What do you want Leos to know for the next five months? From here through December, coming in Leo season. Happy be Earth, solar return to the Leos out there. Thank you for the love and support. Appreciate you sharing, tagging, watching, viewing, commenting on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook page. Uh, thank y'all very much. I appreciate y'all. Peace, love, and harmony. Yours truly, Kim Arts. All right. Let's see what Spirit Source Energy have for y'all. Well, damn, can I get a damn shuffle up in here? Y'all so eager. Nine of Wands, baby. Y'all have been to war and out. Okay, fire, fire, fire. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no motherfucking water. Let me see. We don't need no water. Let the mother burn, right? Burn, mother. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, y'all. That just popped out. <laughs> okay. Y'all like the wounded warrior. Y'all like shit. Is this battle over or is this damn battle over? Because see, that's why balance is in here. Because <laughs> y'all been through it. Look at the red. Look at the red, baby. Look at the red, baby. The root chakra. Work on that root chakra. Getting some, some grounding. Getting some sun. That's your Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh... Uh, energy right here with these uh, nine of wands. You're coming to an ending of something. You're ready for some shit to be over. Okay, you over it already. Okay, spirit source energy. What else for our Leos? What do you want our Leos to know for the next damn for the next five months? Boy, they just <laughs> spirits. <laughs> Whoa, what is y'all spirits doing, Leo? Y'all don't make me get my Palo Santo wood out on y'all now, throwing cards now. My gut is hurting all these damn crunches I've been having to do pick up these cards for the last couple of days. The Page of Swords. Y'all are looking for new communication. You're going to have communication coming in, coming toward you. Uh, y'all are going to be taking action towards something, okay? 
something that, you know, that's been a long time coming. You know, you're ending a cycle. You're taking the necessary uh, actions. That is your September, October, November. How much is this? August. What is this? August, September, October, November, December. So this is August. From now to August. This show September. And now this is going to be October. Well, dang, that was two cards. Ooh, the Emperor. Ooh-wee. And this one is the Ten of Swords. See? Y'all wanted to put it into something. Let me see. August, September, October, November. One more Spirit Source Energy for December. There it is, the Wheel of Fortune. God damn. Y'all better invite me to whatever y'all having. That's all I'm saying. Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Okay. <sighs> Under all energy, Ten of Cups. Overall energy. Balancing those finances. Those finances, that fit the card that's out there, actually. And this is the five of cups under here. Overall energy, look at that. Balancing out your finances. Grounding your finances. Working thing, working together with someone. You're working on building something. You're working on <clears throat> uh, working together. Whatever in your root, your root chakra, your home, your your job your career you're working you're looking toward putting balance back in your life okay ten of cups happy home happy marriage happy family putting that balance back in your home working together oh that's so beautiful taurus capricorn virgo energy pisces cancer scorpio energy that's beautiful. Y'all are working on getting your home life in balance, your finances in balance so that you can get this, this happy family, this happy home. Okay. That's beautiful. Under Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So now having here, let me move that card because last time it almost fell on my fire. My little tea light almost burnt one of my cards up because the wind just blew it. Right. All right. Woo. Y'all got two major archaeas out here. The Emperor and the Will of Fortune. Mm. All right. Let's see what's coming in here for y'all. Spirit Source Energy. What do you have for our Leos out there over the next five months? Spirit Source Energy, what is going on with our Leos over the next five months? What is the future looking like? Spirit Source Energy, clarify the Nine of Wands here for Leo. Hangman in reverse. Knight of Sword in reverse. Communication has slowed down. Y'all are coming out of that. Dang, y'all got Ten of Swords twice. This one's in reverse, though. Wow. You were in a hung position. You were, you, I mean, you're coming out of a battle here. A Nine of Wands energy. A lot, like the Wounded Warrior. You're, you're tired of hanging around. You decided to get up and do something. Okay? You, you, you freed yourself. Uh... You gained some clarity. You came out of this Ten of Swords energy being trapped in your thought processes. That's good to see because y'all were battling with that. Look, see, y'all were battling with that self-sabotaging energy. And now this Ten of Swords is in reverse. Uh, you put an end to something. You know, you got rid of that... Uh, Those, uh, you put a cycle to some communication, to, to inactivity, to, to non-communication, this Knight of Swords energy coming in here. Any sitting around, laying around, being procrastinating, being trapped, feeling sorry for yourself. 
Spirit Source Energy, why is the hangman in reverse here? That jumped right over there on that card, that Ten of Swords card. Hierophant. Wow. You got a grip. <laughs> you, 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 you got a grip. You like, no, we need some structure up in this joker. In the home, in the family, in the in the in the balance, right? If we're gonna get this ten of fucking cups, and if we're gonna get the home, the happy family, the emotional fulfillment and the balance in our lives, we gonna have to fucking work to motherfucking get there. Okay. So y'all laid down the law, the rules, the foundation. Like y'all had to get firm with it. Because y'all needed some structure. You needed some balance. You were getting out of control. You were feeling, you were losing, uh, you, you know, your concentration. You were losing your uh, uh, focus and your attention and, and the direction of where you were going. So you had, you and your person or whoever you're with, or maybe it's you by yourself, a single Leo, you had to get a fucking grip. You had to take some fucking action, okay? Because this is about your religious belief standing this is about structure. This is about balance. This is about uh, ethical values, what you hold uh, dear. It's about decisions. It's about being a mentor, right? You know, mentoring people, being an example. So you had to come out of that hangman, that, that hangman energy. You had to say goodbye. Okay, you had to let go of them attachments. But some of y'all still kind of hung up in the in the ego. Spirit source energy. Why is the page of swords here? So your 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 month from now to uh July to mid-August is about structure, balancing, right? It's about you uh uh taking charge it's about you becoming that that high uh pope priest you know energy right spirit source energy the page of swords clarify the page of swords for leo clarify the page of swords for damn that car flipping out doing somersaults and shit the king of cups Woo. like somebody's coming to meet y'all somebody's coming towards you uh, King of Cups that has a lot of emotion for you, um, wants to communicate on a deeper level, a deeper, deeper level, okay, with you, Spirit Source Energy is saying. Clarify the King of Cups for Leo. Clarify the King of Cups. Woo! That, that flipped over across your hangman on this first uh, thing over here with the four of cups contemplating taking action contemplating uh if you've made the right decision if you set you know the correct uh boundaries for yourself spirit source energy clarify look at there guard it two of two of swords page of swords you're blocking out communication like you're not trying to feel anything right now you're focused on your money spirit source energy until your money gets right you're not even thinking about uh, your emotions right now. Y'all are full steam ahead. Okay. Controlling your heart, con you know, protecting your heart with the, with the two of swords energy, you know, the communication between this King of cups, this person loves you and wants to express. Maybe your person is not opening up. Maybe your person is not talking, but you're wanting this page of swords energy with your person or with someone, whoever you're thinking about at the time of this reading. And your person could be closed off and not communicating. Spirit source energy. More on the two of swords. Yeah, you feel like you feel like there's a little bit of deception. You feel like there is, you know, you're standing, uh, you're you're fighting for what you want. You're fighting for this connection. You're fighting for this communication. You feel that there's a little bit of trickery and deception here. You know, people are not being honest, not, you know, speaking, you know, one foot in the door, one foot in, you know, out the door, uh, trying to get away with responsibility, with taking action, you know, 
And here you are contemplating if you even want this cup that the universe is handing you. Look at their soulmate connection. You got the emperor here coming in August, September, October with the emperor taking leadership. Look at all this sun. Taking authority back over your life with the emperor card. Spirit source energy, why is the emperor here? That's someone set and stuck in their ways. That is you uh, taking the leadership and the control over your life. See there? Nine of Wands again coming out. It dropped over this side. But you're you're coming out of that wounded warrior. You gained a, a sense of leadership and authority coming through this wounded warrior battle of all these stresses and things that you had to go through uh, to, to arise as a leader, to take control back over your life. Like, you've been through it. You're like, am I out the woods yet? Is it safe to come out? Is it safe to let my guard down? That's you putting an end to it, taking control back over your life and putting an end to this, this war, this, this battle, right? These nine of one energies. You have a not, two nine of wands here and two ten of swords here. Like y'all are like, y'all have been going through it. Why is the nine of swords here, please? Waiting for those ships to come in. You're being patient and you're waiting. You're waiting for that progress. You're waiting for whatever you've invested. You're waiting for it to come in. Three of Wands. You're looking out. You can see the ships. You can see the progress. You can. You want to explore. You want to expand. Okay? Spirit Source Energy. Why is the Three of Wands here? Huh? Huh? Uh, well, damn. A lot of chaos, a lot of competition around you. More fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Damn. You have a lot of competition, a lot of spying. People uh, trying to compete with what you're doing. Maybe it's your lifestyle. Maybe it's because how you're Leo, you're taking charge over your life. And these people are just trying to keep, you know, tabs on you and keep control over you, trying to keep their foot one in the door, one in the, out the door with you because you're taking this leadership, this whole leadership thing to a whole nother motherfucking level, right? And they know that you're waiting. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for your efforts and passion to pay off, right? But these people are just, they're just there. They're just there for, for the win, they're just there for the competition, for the disagreement, to keep up, you know, the strife. Look at there. You're, you're crying over spilled milk, wasted time, wasted energy that you've invested with people that were competing against you, that, you know, were saying they, they, they were with you, but they were gossiping, right? They were talking about you behind your back. See there? Mm-hmm. They didn't really mean anything. They really didn't. And then it kind of upset you a little bit. You feel like, you know, you wasted a lot of time and energy uh, probably on these people. Okay. Thinking about, look at there. What is this? Four? What is this? Four of cups and a five of cups. Like you're putting an end to crying over spilled milk. You're putting an end to contemplating about things too long. If people don't want to offer any kind of emotional support, you're not wasting time with them. Look, you worried about your, your finances. You bringing your finances together. You're saving up to put balance back in your home life with the four of pentacles. You're taking care of you and yours. That's you taking care of what, what uh, you got going on with the four of pentacles. Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Holding something close, protecting something, protecting your energy, protecting your finances. And look, get in rest. You need to get your rest still. I think y'all have had this card before, Leo, because y'all have gone, come through this wounded warrior uh, energy in this battle, whether it's with your mind or whether it's with other people. And y'all need to get that rest back so you can think straight. Woo! Well, look at her. New action, new romance. You emerging from the world. Look at that. The yin and the yang, if you ask me. Hmm. Pitch is worth a thousand words here. 
Somebody fins to come up on a new hot romance here, Leo. Hmm. I'm just saying. Phallic symbol. Womb symbol. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Y'all get the picture. Picture worth a thousand words. Y'all saw it for yourself. I couldn't make that shit up. <laughs> I couldn't make that shit up. All right. So y'all are coming to this uh, area of, of peace, of rest, of meditation uh, uh, after the Five of Cups energy, okay? After this crying over spilled milk, maybe having to walk away from things that you found uh, emotional satisfaction in, but just wasn't working, okay? It wasn't getting you to the place where you needed to be. So you had to learn. You probably had to cut away. Look at that. Ooh, y'all about to get it, Leo. Damn. Y'all single? Y'all gonna be looking fucking good, baby. Y'all finna have a new romance, and you gonna be single, and you gonna have it going on with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Independent, successful. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. That's that Nine of Pentacles, baby. You single. You independent. You stable. You financially grounded. You are focused on your pinnacles, right? On your, your stability, if your partner, if you got a partner, Leo, don't want to do it, you're doing it by taking authority back on your life. If you're already single out there and you don't have a person and you're not interested in a person, well, this is just your what you're doing, okay? You're working toward a goal here, okay? But you do have a hot new romance coming, some passionate romance, a new action that you're doing uh, is opening up you for a romantic rendezvous somewhere, okay, with somebody, okay? So y'all need to get your rest. You need to meditate. You need to go to bed. Go to bed, Fred. No, I'm <laughs> Y'all be like, where's she coming? Oh! Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. No, you didn't. What? New romance and a new action? Because y'all figured out. Leo, you figured out. If I'm going to get some balance up in this, I need to take a new action toward romance. I need to, get, I need to gather myself. I need to cre get creative. I need to use my mind. I need to put my mind to work. This is intellect and passion. And where intellect and passion meet, creativity baby creativity because that's what the wands is about intuition and, and creativity intelligence mind action words right taking action using your mind using your intelligence your intuitive come on speak to me creativity creativity coming mm -hmm. once you get some rest because you've been through a lot, remember, wounded warrior. So now your spirit guides and your ancestors saying, look, get some rest, get some, get, gain some clarity, rest your mind, and no other way to stop the momentum, okay, of ten of wands energy, ending of a cycle, wanting to begin again, this nine of wands energy, this betrayal, feeling betrayed by whoever, or feeling like you're having to always fight for what you want, right and and protect your energy here right no better way take a fucking nap just go take a nap rest your mind shut it down if you don't know how to meditate go to sleep shut the shit down so when you get up you got some clarity you got a new focus center of attraction you gotta because remember leo y'all the law of attraction Y'all rule love, the law of attraction, hobbies, right? That's y'all house. Self-expression, that's y'all house. Motivators, that's y'all house, right? Y'all make great motivational speakers, you know? Y'all have this sense of, 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 of expression, right? Or this law of attraction, okay? Because you're thinking of the sun. Shh, every, like the sun, pulling and feeding and giving and everybody is like oh the sun you know wow there's this law of attraction coming right this like this 
what does a plant do when you put it in the proper light or something that you're trying to grow and you put it in the light, it usually tilt over toward where that light is. Like the other side might stand up, but the other side starts leaning toward where that, where that life, where that, that warmth is coming from, that nurture is coming from. So y'all have that kind of law of attraction, like the sun drawing people to it, right? Bringing people to it charging people, motivating people, inspiring people. And it's going to pay off. Y'all are looking like true leaders that you are. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Spirits for Leo. Why is the Ten of Swords here? This is like you've been stabbed in the back. This is you cutting, you know, getting rid of, putting an end to the haters, you know, dealing with the haters. This is you, you know, not buying any, any bullshit or anything. Oh, oh, too many. Good Lord. They tried to drop the whole book. Let me do that over. I see soulmate connection, but I'm going to do it over because that's way too many. Uh, look how many that was. That's like a lot. We'll look just in case. See what comes out. Ooh, temperance, page of wands, moon card, emperor, six of cups. Ooh, eight of pentacles. Uh, an ace of cups, so that's three cups. Heart to heart, soulmate, knight of wands, justice, getting justice. And look, the queen of swords. So see y'all that y'all are like, whew. okay, let's move on. Spirit source energy. Clarify the ten of swords for Leo. Clarify the ten of swords for Leo. The four of swords is your Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The four of pentacles is your Taurus energy, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Y'all got everybody here. Y'all got the whole game here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the King of Cups. And the four of cups here. Spirit source energy. Clarify the ten of swords for Leo. Clarify the ten of swords for Leo. Spirit source energy. Clarify the ten of swords for Leo. Ooh, wow. Victory. Success. Over putting an end to your worrying, your self-sabotaging thoughts, this mental prison that you've you've set up in your mind you've put a stop to that and you've taken the action you've become the leader you had to take authority back over your life this is like uh feeling like something has ended or something has died okay ten of swords is like feeling defeated so you've put an end to feeling defeat you've changed that mindset the way you were thinking feeling like Nothing's working out. Feeling like I don't see no success. Well, you've gotten out of your head. That in itself is a success. You getting out of the nine of one energy and the ten of swords energy is a motherfucking victory and success. Because if you don't know how bad and how hard it is to get out of your own fucking mind and follow your intuition, follow the advice of the high priestess, Okay, guiding you out, you know, keeping the balance, tapping into your inner self, your spirit guides, so that they can guide you down your destiny, guide you to your destiny, right? So that you can get victory and success. Mm. All right, spirit source energy, victory and success it is. Clarify, look at, there y'all cup. Oh, repeat. We just saw it. I told y'all if the spirit wanted to come out again, it's going to motherfucking come out again. Now you have, you have seen all three ones, the, the sword, the, the wand, and now here's the cup and there's your soulmate union. So you now have victory and success with an heart to heart conversation and starting a new cup and a new beginning, a new abundant beginning, because you've all, you've put it into some old ways of thinking. Okay. You done away with that. You got the balance. You got the balance and now it's paying off because you decided what was important to you and what was important to you was to balance your home and family. What was important to you was your happiness in your home your, you know, your financial stability, right? Working together, staying together, 
toughing this shit out, balancing this shit out. And now that's why you're coming in here with this success card and this victory. And now you're going to get that happy home. You're going to end up getting a home because of it. You're going to end up getting a new, a new beginning. Okay. With these 10 of cups, that's the end of a cycle. That's, that's wish fulfillment. That's, that is complete happiness. That is union. That is marriage. That is everything like the whole rainbow nine yards, happy family. Okay. You're wanting a family. Somebody's wanting to start a family with you, uh, Leo, or you already have a family. And now you're bringing your family together under one roof. Because see, that's a house. They're standing in the door to their house. Their happy home, balanced family, commitment, fulfillment, happiness, celebration, all that. And look what you got. All because you came out of the ten of swore energy and took action. You took action. Like you you came out of this conflict, this arguing, this uh, competition, this spying or whatever, in, you know, energy. And you just got things moving. You got the ball moving. And so you got victory and success. You got a soulmate connection where you see eye to eye now with your person. And look, now there's your new beginning, your new cup of love that's being offered those two cups into one cup the, look at there and there's the celebration right there there's your celebration Ooh, look at y'all mm, mm, mm. some of y'all your person putting the end to a third party situation and that's why you're able to get this new cup of love because your person you your person had to put an end to a third party situation in order for you, or you did, in order for you to get this new cup of love offered, you had to choose. You had to make a choice. And I saw the two of wands somewhere. Was that? You had to put an end to something. You had to take your life back. You had to become the emperor and take control back over your life. You had given your power away, and now you got your power back. And now you're looking full straight ahead. You're not looking back, okay? You're moving forward now. Spirit source energy. Clarify the will of fortune. Now, we know what the will of fortune is. So around December, your luck and everything is going to start uh, changing. You're ending a cycle. You're ending a cycle around December, some of you, okay? Uh, a cycle that had you... Uh, bound mentally uh not able to move anxiety worry stress sleepless nights okay anxiousness tiredness fatigue mental you know mentally tired and exhausting that's why you had to fucking get some rest because of that ten of sword energy you just came out that conflict that mind conflict with yourself right that balance that imbalance that was going on mentally and now that you're out of that energy now destiny and fate is is operating and and turning things around and working you know for new opportunities for you success and abundance destiny and fate because you've taken charge of your life with the emperor Clarify ten of will of fortune, uh, spirit source energy. Clarify the will of fortune. This is a lot of cards. Look at there, there y'all wands. What I tell you, you can't make this goddamn shit up. You cannot make the damn shit up. Look at that. What that damn ace at? The exact ones y'all saw. Look at there. Somebody else just had this. Look, Virgo. I think Virgo just had these three ones. So Leo and Virgo. If y'all got Virgo in your chart, go check it out. If you got Leo in your chart somewhere, go check that one out or whatever. Because y'all, these three exact same cards showed up in Virgo. Y'all are on one accord now. Y'all are in sync, balance, and harmony right now. Y'all are in it. Y'all have had that heart to heart. Y'all have regrouped. Y'all are working together with your person. Y'all got the support of your person now. You look at this. You got the support. Holding things together, keeping things together, keeping the family together, right? Look at that. Damn. Look at that. New passionate beginning. Taking new action. 
right? Will of Fortune. That's what brought around that destiny. Look, happy home and family again. This is the four of cups with the ten of cups. Reunion, marriage, happy family, happy life, successful in business, successful in work, successful at home. Look at that. You're getting your wish. Four of wands, 11-11. Ooh, y'all destiny. Look at there. But look, you, you cannot get, y'all got to stay out of your head. Things are going to go right and don't get trapped into overthinking again, losing sleep. Get some rest, Leo, get some rest, okay? Get some rest. Get some rest so you can operate, meditate, focus, go to sleep, shut it down. Shut the shit down. When you get overwhelmed and you feel yourself getting anxious again and tired, get some rest. Meditate. Ground yourself. Go out and sit on a tree, goddammit. Put your feet in the grass or the dirt. Do something, right? Get you some crystals that help ground that energy. Balance that energy out. That, that take negative energy and turn it into positive energy. Go get you some crystals. Okay? Take a spiritual bath. Okay? Burn some sage, some Palo Santo wood, some frankincense and myrrh. Burn all of it, shit. Get everything you got out. <laughs> but don't get trapped back into the worry and the anxiety. There's a battery notification. Of what you've come out of. You finished up this cycle. Don't go back in it. Okay? So that's your, you got to concentrate on, you not concentrate, but you got to make sure you stay on top of this and stay out of that nine of sword energy. Okay? And this is, again, the Knight of Cups coming in. Someone coming in, bringing you a message, emotional balance, and stability. Okay? So someone's going to bring you, uh, bring you, yeah, I think that's how it was. Yeah. Offering you success, abundance, something, right? Something emotionally grounding and stable. And you got to have your rest so you don't miss that opportunity, that adventure. Okay? You might need to take a vacation. Okay? But this is anxiety, worry, overthinking. Don't overthink it. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles, independence. For some of you Leos, Queen of Independence. You know, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna keep your independence, your financial and, and look at there, see? What is going on with y'all? So yeah, y'all gotta stay out of that energy. You know, or this is your person or something, you know. But you got the where's my cards? You got the queen of you got why is this nine of uh swords energy here? Clarify oh, nope, 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 too many. Clarify the uh nine of swords for Leo. Why is the nine of swords here? The queen of cups. And that's flipping over in my hand. Judgment working together. Options, illusions, queen of cups. That's a divine match. Queen of cups and the king. Working together, wanting this new start together, working together to pull everything together, the finances, holding up the finances, collaborating on something and, and exploring those options and those opportunities. That's what this is about. Soulmate. Told y'all. Soulmate. So told y'all. Told y'all. The cups, the aces, and the wands. Yep. Taking that new action. And don't renege on it. Stay firm. Stay grounded. Stay balanced. So you can get this happy home, Leo. That's what you're that's what you're aiming for. That's what you're going for. That's what you're planning for. Soulmate. Let's see what romance have it. Your independence, your freedom, your emotional balance, and your financial independence is what you're your passion and your you're driven by okay this newfound love for yourself this newfound passion that you have and and taking this new action okay toward taking your life back 
putting things back in balance. Spirit Source Energy, what message do you have for Leos here? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. There's that new cup of love. Bam. See there? Spirit Source Energy. Y'all are opening your eyes to children. Your love life may be affected by children. Maybe that's why you're tired. Maybe that's why you're stressed out. Maybe that's why you're all in your head. Because you're 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 wanting something uh, a new fresh beginning and start for your family you know or some of you guys may be meeting that new partner romantic partner and having children okay because there's a soulmate connection here we saw the world card with the with the uh, ace of wands so that's feminine and masculine energy so some of you guys may be having children or may already have children in the mix and trying to bring that family unit together love life your love life is affecting your children your women your children women your love life is being affected by children leo spirit source energy what else do you have for leos what other information advice release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so if y'all holding on to any ex relationships any toxic relationships in order for this new love to come in, you're going to have to release your ex. You're going to have to let go of past actions, okay? Uh, look at there. You deserve love. You are lovable. Okay? So you don't have to settle. You don't have to take crap from anybody. One more card. Spirit Source Energy. One more card. For Leo, one more card. One more card for Leo. Finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that's what you're working hard to gain authority and control back over is your finance and your home. Okay? Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Not having enough. Juggling holding things up, right? Waiting for those ships to come in, the three of wands energy, right? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. That soulmate connection, right? Let's see what your person thinks of you right now, Leo. What is Leo person thinking about Leo right now that they want to say that they're unable to say? Leo needs some encouraging words, some motivation for the motivator, the inspiration for the inspirator. <laughs> ah, I don't even know if that made sense, but hey, I said it anyway. <laughs> Let's see what Leo's person is thinking about them. Want to say that they can't say spirit source energy. What does Leo person want to say? What, how does for the single, how does the single Leos feel about themselves if y'all single? I am forever grateful for your loving kindness and for the joy you bring to my life. You are a gift from the eternal heart of love, a blessing from the most benevolent universe, benevolent, benevolent universe. Ooh, isn't that so sweet, y'all? Isn't that just sweet? That's just precious, isn't it? That's just so precious. Y'all just feeling so precious and warm. What you, look, look at y'all. Look at y'all trying to have some true love around him. Hmm. Spirit Source Energy, what is Leo person feeling about them? And what is Leo, the single Legos, feeling about themselves right now? Spirit Source Energy. Spirit Source Energy. Look at y'all. Y'all little tang tangs out there in love with yourself. Hmm. In love with your person. What is your person thinking about you, Leo? What do they want to say to you that they can't say? Because they ain't communicating. Remember that. In the beginning, there wasn't no communication. Somebody was blocked. Right? Somebody throat chakra is closed up. They hiding their emotions. I'm on. Spirit source energy. Anything else? For Le that, that, well, dang. Y'all want to say a lot now. Soon I said that. Look at here. 
Now I gotta read all these cards. I shouldn't have never asked that question, huh? That's what I get. <laughs> this is a favorable time to map for matters of the heart. A time of inspiration and healing. Didn't I say inspiration for the inspirator? A relationship blossoms. Your heartfelt aspirations now manifest lovingly into reality. Told y'all, y'all, what a law of attraction. Told you. A sur I surrender all negative beliefs that no longer serve me and replace them with loving thoughts and intentions. Y'all put an end. Just like it said, that's why it came out twice. So don't go back into that nine of sword energy because you already ended that cycle, okay? From this moment on, I will listen only to the voice of love. Your love is an endless source of inspiration. Told y'all. Two hearts merged through an explosion of love united. They create unlimited wealth. Will of fortune. Together, they fulfill their dreams. Balance and happy home and family. That's y'all dream. To start fresh, to have a new cup of love, a new beginning. Romance, working together, getting the victory. See there? Okay. Every loving thought is a seed of love. Sometimes the seed sprouts instantly and other times it lies dormant for a while. The timing really doesn't matter. Love always grows into greater love. Okay, that soulmate connection. And this one, a profound transformation is taking place in your life. Be yourself. You have much to offer the world just by being you, Leo. Your love has the power to transform all things, including your relationship and love life. Wow. Talk about some inspiration there. That ought to motivate y'all. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Get a private reading and we can go more in depth. Because <laughs> ah, this was a general. This was definitely a general. So if you weren't that person in your nine of swords energy, then that's not for you. That, that might be for some other Leos. Okay, you only take what resonates. Leave the rest with the eye. Okay? If it doesn't resonate. But I love it. Mm, mm, mm. All right. That's y'all reading, Leos. That's your bonus for now until the end of the month. Uh, let's see. I didn't really see nothing. I mean, uh, luck and opportunities coming to you. I really didn't see any finance. Working together, four of pentacles. There's your two of pentacles. So you're going to be saving. Your, your spiritual advice is saving. Let me get those cards back. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me go. Let me get these cards back so we can see how your finances are going. Because Virgo's, Virgo's, wait a minute. These are your cards. These are your cards. Virgo. Virgo is right there. So these are your cards. I didn't really see anything about finances, none other than you're, you're being advised or asked to save. Let's find it. See? Save. Work on saving. You know, because you want this happy home and this family. Some of you guys might be buying a fam. Uh, I mean, not buying a family. Buying a home or wanting that home, that 10 of cups so you're going to be focused from now to the end of december on buying you know saving your money so you can get that home so over the next five months uh leo you're focused on saving your your money as much money as you can for down payment for a home you know or a new place to live 
because I didn't see any, any, and then this is about working together, your pinnacles, putting, you know, family working together with the three of pinnacles there. You know, uh, getting a raise, uh, doing something to bring, you know, financial stability. And that's going to require you saving and being a strict discipline with your finances, which is why the Hierophant card was here in the first place. The Hierophant was in your first, uh, where'd she go? Right here. That was in your first row. And that's why, because you're going to have to have some type of, uh, make some type of decision to save your finances for the next five months so that you can get this new home or whatever it is you're saving to buy, whatever's on your wish list or whatever you're trying to do uh, to, or either just to have stability in your finances. You're gonna have to discipline yourself with the Hierophant, right? This is about structure, balance, discipline, law, liberty, religious belief, marriage. In order to get all that stability coming in, you're going to have to really be strict with yourself and your spending and your habits and pull together with your person. And if you're by yourself, Leo, you're going to have to be, you know, saving up your money. OK, through these next five months. OK, building your nest egg or building you. I call it the, the cushion, the comfort zone, the, the uh, <clears throat> a cushion in, in the bank account. OK, have making sure you have something in your bank account. That's what you're going to be working toward to the end of the year so that you can uh, relocate and find you and start you a new beginning, a new passionate beginning, okay? So you're going to be busy pretty much working, okay? Creating things passionately, you know, working, you know, working toward your goals, okay? There's not going to be a lot of time uh to waste if you're trying to have a house by the end of the year going into the first part of the year you're not gonna i mean those five months can come and go so quick okay so i didn't really see anything about uh standing out no more than saving and putting away saving your money buying only what you need living within your means over this next five months uh so that you can have that security in your bank account, uh, that stability when you go to uh, buy your house or relocate or whatever you're, you're planning to do, okay, personally, invest in yourself, whatever, okay. Uh, each Leo may be going through different things, right? So take what resonates. That's y'all's um, reading. Go like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Comedic Arts Yoga and Reiki. Let me know if it resonates with you or not. Go to my YouTube channel, comment over there. Follow me over there. Join me over there. Whatever y'all want to do, join me over there. Okay? And let's share, tag a friend, share the YouTube to other people that need spiritual guidance. And just tell them, yeah, that's the crazy one, but uh, she good. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> they might think I'm crazy, though, what would come out my mouth, but I'm not crazy. But uh, tell them she good at what she do now. She out there, but she good. She good peoples. <laughs> tell them, she good peoples, though. <laughs> you know, uh, share a tag, share with family members that need guidance, that... Uh, that are looking for spiritual wisdom and guidance on making a decision or needing, you know, in that stuck between stage, that hangman stage, and they kind of don't know what to do or which way to turn. Cause this is all about, we got to stop being selfish. I need to drink more water. I didn't drink enough water today cause I'm thirsty as hell. Uh, I didn't even walk today. I walked yesterday, but I didn't walk today. But tell, you know, this is for guidance for everybody, not just you. Share it with other people that may be stuck or that you know is going through something because you don't know what's said in these tarot readings or these videos that that little piece of information 
could be that information for that person to move forward and to get out of that stagnant energy and start moving and start being positive about their uh, situation. And then that turns their situation around. Okay. This is about, this is not about being selfish and keeping all of the information to yourself. It's about sharing it with other people so other people can come up to or to, you know, graduate or to move from this place of stagnancy and complacency so that they can be off to this new beginning and this new cup of love and this new endeavor, whatever the heck they're trying to do, right? It's up to them. It's not up to us to monitor somebody else's growth. It's not up to us to compete with somebody else's journey. If you know something to be valuable to somebody, just share it. That's that's you doing something. You don't have to give money. It don't cost nothing to share, to tag, right? Or to refer somebody to somebody that you know need the help and the guidance. Okay? How are we how are we going to change the world when people are being selfish and they're being competitive against each other? and don't want to see somebody come up so you don't support somebody. That's not the way to be. That's definitely not the way to be. And, and you're only going to cut your own blessings down because of that, because what you fail to realize is the universe got it all written down. So when you get ready to do an endeavor or you get ready to start something, remember that energy. Remember that energy because that energy going to be looking you right back in your goddamn face and you wonder why. Why ain't nobody liking my shit why i ain't getting this and why i ain't getting that and it's the karma that you put out it's the karma that you put out it's your own energy that you put out towards somebody else knowing that somebody else needed that information sharing is free now my cash app on the other hand is that dollar sign kim arts if you want to donate a love offering or a love seed or buy the $50 personal reading to see what your personal life is going through and, and, and what's going on around you personally because these are collective readings so this is energy that I and other tarot readers pick up on a collective what's out there and sometimes it's more than one message sometimes that shit be just everywhere it be, it be messages over here it be a message over here it be a message over here but then you gotta look at what's the dominant story What's the dominant narrative that's rising above all of the other ones? Okay. What's the most dominant energy? But sometimes we give the different narrative because it's hitting different people. And then some people just really focus on the dominant energy and they don't give the other ones. So therefore other people miss out because they're focusing on the dominant energy instead of focusing on what the card and the energy is saying. And it doesn't matter because these are different people that it's meant for. And if we don't share, then those people stay in the dark. Those people stay, you know, uh, in an unrest state or an unpeaceful state of mind within their own being. So who wants to be the cause of that? That's all I'm asking. Which one of y'all want to be the cause of somebody else not rising, somebody else not having their peace of mind, somebody else being so depressed, God forbid, they take their own life. So I, it's, I, it's simple. Share the motherfucking post. Tag somebody. It's that fucking simple. It don't cost nothing. But that is an act of caring. Caring is sharing, we say, right? Put to the test. Put to the test right? Not me, the universe putting you to the test. I'm not putting you to the test because the universe already got what I'm doing down. My energy is already up there. Ain't nothing nobody can do for my fucking energy. Not a goddamn thing. Nobody. Because my energy is already up there. It's already taken care of. This is about the world, the outside world, the inside world, right? And what you want to see reflected around you so you can rise to the top. Because we're all trying to rise to the top. Right? We all trying to seek balance. We all trying to get balance in our life, in our jobs, on our careers, in our businesses, in our endeavors, in our relationships. It's called love. Love. <laughs> 
That's what it's called. It's called love. All right, y'all better go for this thing shut off and I ain't gonna be able to save it. So you know what your girl say. Go like that thing on uh, YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Share it. Tag a friend. Post it on your pages, wherever you want to post it at. Bring them on in. Post them in some of these groups. Some of these groups have banned me, y'all. Y'all just need to know some of these groups ain't what the fuck they say they are because a lot of them have banned me. A lot of them have definitely banned me, even doing tarot readings. And you will see other people doing tarot readings out there. So I just need y'all to know that ain't stopping the show. So you can run tell them damn groups that. And when they see me in, in on the big screen, <laughs> right, then they'll remember energy, right? What you put out, you get back. So lesson learned. So if all it takes for you to share, and just because you don't believe in tarot does not mean that somebody else don't believe in tarot or need that because that is part of our spirituality. So whether you're religious or not doesn't mean shit because in the Wiccan shops, in the metaphysics shops, I've seen more Christians and religious people in those motherfucking shops. So don't get it twisted and think it's just a spiritual person thing. They were told so many years not to do it. It was witchcraft. It was sorcery or sorcery or whatever. Well, look at your pastor. Because that's what the fuck he been doing to you all these fucking years. While you were sitting there trying to stay away from learning your own zodiac, your own natal chart. That's sorcery. That's witchcraft. See, hiding spirituality from you to keep you blinded right i've seen more christians in there ducking looking sneaky timid like oh do she know me is she gonna go back and tell i don't want them to know i'm up in here right come on now y'all get off the bandwagon be a leader <laughs> not a follower be a leader take control of your own life Share the love. That's all it takes. One button. Share. It's out of there. Out. Help somebody else. Help somebody else so you get a reward. So you put that positive energy out. Because then it'll come back to you when you help somebody else. That's what this is about. It's not about being selfish. You can be selfish to a point and set healthy boundaries, yes. But it comes a time where you, if you know somebody need that guidance, then that's your obligation. That's your moment right there that the universe is going to test your ass at. To see where you're at and what you're talking about. If you're standing on what you're talking about or you just gapping at the, the gums, the gift of gab with no action. That's why words don't mean shit to me. Give me the action. Show me the action because I ain't studying your motherfucking words. You can trust that. You can, you can shoot butterflies out your motherfucking ears all you want. Tell me how this and that and all this. Oh, no, I'm looking at your damn actions. Trust that. Trust I'm looking at them. I'm looking at them from every motherfucking angle, too. That's why that's my signature right there. The L. The angle, baby. The right motherfucking angle. Where that North Star at? <laughs> the right angle. So you you choose. Is your is your karma? Is your energy? I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm reading the cards. <laughs> so it don't your energy don't affect me. It affects you. It affects you. So whoever need to hear that uh, is what it is. It is what it is. Peace, love, and harmony to y'all, though, because you know what your girls say. When you got peace, love, and harmony in here, you're going to have peace, love, and harmony out there. Guess what? You take it to the world. Peace, love, and harmony. Leo, go get it.